Okay. okay. Hey everybody and welcome to Tanashi's Movie Corner and for today's movie review I will be reviewing Leon the Professional which came out in 1994 and was directed and written uh, by Luke Benson and stars Gene Reno, Gary Oldman, and Natalie Portman and it was Natalie Portman's first acting debut uh, she was 11 years old and I'm going to try really hard not to spoil any of this movie uh, not really because it's a, a deep, complex plot, but because of how well it was done and how much I enjoyed it. Um, so I, I'm not even going to read the synopsis to it, really. I, I'm just going to get straight into it and say that visually the movie was great. Uh, there was a lot of really, really good scenes, a lot of symbolism uh, throughout the film, which was uh, very, very good, uh, very good use of not only shots, but of sound even, or, or lack thereof, in some of the scenes. And But this movie, it really is carried uh, by the three people I mentioned, by Gene Reno, Gary Oldman, and Natalie Portman. There's a few others, but they're really the standouts. I'll be honest. This was um, this was my favorite uh, performance by Natalie Portman that I've seen. And so, granted, I, I haven't seen every movie, but from what I've seen, uh, this is my favorite performance by her, and she did such a great job uh, as his character. And um, I think Gene Reno and Gary Oldman really did too, for being the three three main stars of this film they most certainly carried uh the film and their the performance that they they gave in this movie um the characters that they were portraying and and how much they brought to these characters really just elevates this film from from being just kind of a not really standard cuz there is some things that are a little less uh, standard in this film that than other films, but the the basic concept of it being as standard as it was was really just brought up uh, by these performances. And I will say that there there are some character arcs. There there are character arcs that take place within this uh, movie that. Would I, I feel would make the general audience a little uneasy, uh, to say the least. But I was fascinated by it, and the thing is, it makes you, it would make you uneasy, uh, in in a sense because of what you're seeing. But it would also make you uneasy because of your understanding of why it is, why why it's going the way it's going, why. The plot is going down the path that it's going down, uh, because there's just there's so much just connectability. There's so much depth to these these characters. They stand out so well, um, and again, the visuals are great. Uh, the plot is actually pretty good. Like I said, there's part of it that's a little bit of a standard plot that I've I've seen before, but it's done so well. Uh, and and it was so engaging uh, to the audience that it it really is a brilliant film. And and going back to what I was what I was saying about the uneasiness uh, kind of feeling that you get watching it. Like I said again, there's also this understanding as well. And like you understand the characters, you understand where they're coming from and why the path is 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 as as it seems to be um so 
that kind of leads me up to the end because there's some beautiful shots at the end and there's some really good use of symbolism at the end. But I do feel like the the ending was a little bit of a cop out and it felt like after creating a piece that would have people really like a real thinking piece to that where you're really having to sit back and, and mull over what you saw and uh, just everything like the importance and the significance of every piece, every conversation, every direction the plot took and the kind of the mor morality of it in a way to have all this happen and then to get the ending that I got was disappointing. Um, there's kind of a plot hole to it as well. Uh, to, to set up the kind of the ending of it and then the ending itself uh, was disappointing because I think when, when you have such a, a ballsy way of kind of uh, of showcasing this you know you need to stick by your guns and I knew apparently the theatrical version of this movie which I have not seen leaves out a bunch of stuff because they thought that it would be um, better marketed to American audiences uh, with that stuff left out. And so they have that left out. And then they have like a director's uh, cut of it, which includes it back in, but the ending still maintained as being the same. And I was disappointed by the ending, and it's not really because I saw it coming. And like I said, there's some really good scenes with it. Um, and There's some good symbolism with it. But I was disappointed because it, it it kind of doesn't resonate as well because of what happens. Because up to that point, you're really focused on everything that's going on. You're really focused on the characters. You're really focused on their dynamic and, and how things are going to go about. And then you get this ending and it's kind of like, well, what we tried to suggest to the audience, yeah. We, it was just a suggestion, you know, we're, we're just going to throw it out uh, because that's kind of the mainstream way of doing things. And I thought that was weird because as uncomfortable as it kind of made me, again, like I said, it made me uncomfortable yet understanding to kind of a weird thing to where the ending being what it was, I felt like I was a little cheated a little bit because I felt like things that you left that you were leaving open the possibilities that you were opening up you one way or another it kind of needed to be addressed and they really weren't addressed they were just kind of dropped off so I thought that was all um, all a bit of a disappointment and like I said there is a major really a uh, loophole that kind of or plot hole rather that kind of comes about to this ending where so up until that point I was really engaged and then it took me out of it uh, that being said I do agree that it's probably the ending they had to do given again general audience and their kind of perception of, of what what is being shown to them what is kind of uh, kind of embodying itself within them and the uneasiness of it I understand why the ending was the way it was but I think from just an artistic perspective from from just kind of a, a ballsy way of of doing this film to leave on such an ordinary note really took me out of an otherwise great film uh, and it's a really big flaw in my opinion on on what was a good movie so much so that I can't give this a 10, 10 10 out of 10 but I will give it a 9 out of 10 because even aside from the main cast I think the supporting cast did a great job too I think the visuals were there the plot which could have been just plainly ordinary was really well developed and I think overall everything for the most part worked out great so yeah 10 out of 10 but uh, let me know if you've seen this movie or not I'll try not to spoil anything and uh, if you haven't please go check it out I think it's great great movie. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and until next time, peace.